Hey. These are for you. Oh, Skylar. I didn't know you cared. <laughs> uh, uh, Rachel, you're my uh, you're my go-to girl when it comes to drug tests with flowers. No, I just I just uh, signed for these. Oh, these are beautiful. Probably from my dad. <laughs> Digging our time together. Don't let my brother mess up the music. Let's share another gig together soon. Peace. Wow, your dad, huh? Poetic guy. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's this guy that I know, Sean. Well, he sounds like a keeper. I mean, he sends you flowers. He sends you notes. He's a nice guy. Oh, oh, not nice guy. That, that's a kiss of death. No, I like him. We have a good time together. But. I didn't say I wasn't into Sean. I'm just I'm taking it slow. Mm -hmm. No, I, I mean, I, I get it. I, I really do. It's different doing relationships sober. It's just... What? I don't know. I mean, when your instincts have let you down so many times in the past, you know. Are we talking about me here or you? N no. No, 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 no. No, I'm talking about anybody in recovery. I mean, when you meet somebody new, how do you know it's not going to be just more of the same? Which is why you take it slow. Sean and I, we have a good time together. And we can talk, and he's thoughtful, respectful. Nothing like his brother. Ooh, his brother? Uh, he's a doctor who just blew into town. Actually, he's consulting on Matthew's case. And you don't like him? Oh, he's just so full of himself. <laughs> it is so funny how two brothers could be just... Complete opposites. Oh, man. You know what that sounds like? Two sisters I know. You want to talk about night and day? <laughs> what are you going to do about the flower dude over here? You are changing the subject. Hello, counselor. <laughs> All right, fine. If you want to sit on it, you're just going to... Have it eat away at me until I'm forced to act out? Yeah. yeah. I, I know. I do this for a living, too. The sisters... Okay, long story short, my ex has been in love with her sister's boyfriend for like a long time, we're talking like since childhood, and not just in love, she's obsessed, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe the things that this girl would do to get close to him, but, uh, but I told her, I, I said to her, you know, you're headed down a blind alley. Oh yeah, that gains you some points. Yeah. You know, she said something to me, and um, I guess I deserved it. What, that you're still in love with her? No. No, she said I'm falling for her sister. Are you? But is your ex right? Are you interested in her sister? And can we please start using names, because this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, my ex is Stacy. Her sister is Gigi, and she's great. She's so cool. She's, like, funny. She's down to earth. She's got this kid that she raised all on her own until the, the guy in question came into her life. And she just doesn't deserve this. You know what I mean? I wish I had warned her about her sister or something. Yeah, but is that your job, to sit there and police Stacy and protect Gigi? Well, I don't know. I mean, if you know somebody's about to hurt somebody else, isn't it worse to just stand by? Your ex is a piece of work. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, complicated. So what you got planned now? I don't know. Apparently, she's already slept with Rex. Uh, Rex is the boyfriend. Apparently. Yeah, that's what she told me. But what she doesn't know is that Gigi and Rex are already back together, and Gigi told Rex everything that Stacy did. I just don't think that Rex returned the favor. I don't think Rex is going to tell Gigi. Which doesn't mean she won't find out if it's the truth. I mean, it sounds like the Stacy has no problems lying. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, she could have just been lying to me. But I don't know. See, it, it felt like the truth. Well, you're just going to have to let this one play itself out. And you're lucky that you moved on. Yeah. 
I don't know. Stacy was the only one that stuck by me when I hit rock bottom. And as much as I may feel for Gigi, there's a, there's a part of me that's always going to... A small part of me <laughs> that's always going to love her sister. Is that nuts? People weren't there for me when I was using. I wouldn't be here. But you need to focus on yourself, Sky. Yeah, I know. Are you going to meetings? Yeah, I'm doing 90 and 90. Good. Well, thank you for, uh, for listening. Let me, buy, let me buy you a hot dog. Skylar, living large. <laughs> you haven't even gotten a paycheck yet. How about I treat you to lunch? Oh, it is on. 